finally tonight, finding Fido by drone. Off-the-shelf drones have transformed the battlefield. Now they are helping reunite us with man's best friend, as special correspondent Malcolm Bragman saw in southern England. We've just driven for about two and a half hours across the English countryside in southern England to a village called Wonston in the county of Hampshire, and we're joining people looking for a black Labrador called Xena, who's one year old and who's been missing for a few days. The drone pilots have been up, there have been some positive sightings, but Xena is a bit nervous and she took fright and disappeared, and there's only about an hour to go before nightfall. We're following actress Errol Holt, who became Xena's owner a month ago after the young Labrador was rejected as a gun dog because she was easily spooked. Unfortunately, somebody came round to visit and they had a very high-pitched voice, a, a very bumptious dog, and I think it was just the last straw for her. And I, I suddenly turned around and I went, where's the dog? Earlier, the area was scanned by a drone that can detect the body heat of a scared puppy or an invading infantryman. The Ukrainian government have purchased this particular model because of the thermal capabilities. So I've heard they're in very short supply at the moment. So I was lucky, luckily managed to get one about a year ago. Shane Phillips is a commercial drone pilot who normally makes films, but volunteers for search and rescue when the call comes. Dogs tend to hide in quite dense undergrowth. They're never usually out in the open. But with the drone, especially with thermal capabilities, you can clear the open very quickly. We can scan this whole field area here in a matter of seconds, and at least we can say there's no dog here, and you can focus your efforts elsewhere. I'm very frightened for her, really, because she doesn't know this part of the country at all. She's only one. This is just the perfect place for her to be because there are no main roads around here at all. But if she was to stray further, we've got really, really busy roads. There's a railway line. As the light fades fast, a farmer's convinced that he's spotted the Labrador. It's definitely her, yeah. I think I can see it, but... Yes, I know. I can too. Shall I go and that get John? Like that's not a deer. No, it's not. But the animal was a muntjac, a small deer about the same size as a dog. Mm -hmm. Zena faced her third night alone while her owner endured a tumult of anxiety and hope. Similar emotions flowed at the biggest reservoir in North Wales when a dog walker's idyllic country stroll went pear shaped. Her charge, Charlie, a venerable spaniel, suddenly vanished into thin air. As the evening went on and the night drew in, we became more and more anxious that we weren't going to find Charlie. Charlie is the best friend Lydia David will ever have. There was no way that we were leaving that night without him. It was an awful experience to go through, one that I wouldn't wish on anyone. We just wanted to get him back to where he belonged, back to the people that loved him, back to safety. Launching. Cometh the hour, cometh the drone pilot. Tim Smith spotted Lydia's SOS post in a Facebook dog search and rescue group. And a lot of people consider drones to be a nuisance, but we actually use them to find lost dogs. And around here, particularly in the weather conditions in North Wales, a lost dog can be in a lot of trouble. The odds weren't encouraging. Charlie was deaf, blind and almost lame. So, a very elderly dog. To start with, nobody could understand what had happened because we covered the land and we actually flew over where Charlie was and nobody saw him. But then the dog walker pointed to the place where Charlie disappeared. Tim reached for his thermal camera. The white dot in the middle shows Charlie trapped on the water's edge. I've got him, I've got him, don't worry. I've got him. Charlie, Charlie! We're so incredibly lucky that Tim saw that post that night, that he was able and happy to come out and help us. Everyone did as much as they could, and that's what got Charlie back home safe to us. I came away on an incredible high. Yeah, I'm still buzzing. These are just some of the dogs who've gone missing in the past couple of weeks. Every day, on average, there are 10 new appeals to track down a four-legged friend. The group can call on two and a half thousand drone pilots, and to date, they've reunited nearly 3,000 dogs with their families. Hope is running out in Cornwall, in southwest England. 
the landscape pitted with abandoned tin and copper mines. Douglas went missing after his owner went for a run. I had him since I was, I think, 10 years old, and so he's basically grown up with us as kids. Elodie Sparrow is a student of Mandarin and bereft. He's been, you know, through really hard times in our life and he's been such a comfort and he's definitely a big part of the family. This is Douglas in happier times near Elodie's home. He's a 12-year-old Cocker Spaniel and he is quite infirm and he's, he's blind and probably um, he's hard of hearing. John Davis is a former police dog handler who takes to the air when the ground trail goes cold. They're hiding, they're probably in the feral dog syndrome, the wild syndrome that they go into after a time of being out of um, their family. They're scared, they're frightened, they, they want to hunker down. Alas, at this point, we, we actually haven't found Douglas. It feels really strange not to have him with us, but also it's horrible to have to worry about what could have happened to him. Hello, Zena. Back in Hampshire, after missing for three and a half days, Zena made her own way back home, lured by a pile of scented clothes, including Errol's husband's dirty underwear. We've got Zena home at last, which is really, really fantastic. She's very tired and she's had a good meal and now she's just nodding off on her favourite sofa. Thank you. No problem at all. Ooh. Thank you no so problem. much, honestly. Never yeah. tried. Brilliant. Hopefully Brilliant. never again. <laughs> yes, hopefully never again. But as Zena luxuriates in home comforts, spare a thought for those lost forever. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Malcolm Brabant in southern England. May every lost dog find his or her way back to the Thanksgiving table tonight.